The great thing about cooking, especially right now, is it's a chance to get outside your comfort zone and try some dishes or some flavors that maybe you haven't before. And that is exactly what we're doing today. We're making a Vietnamese dish, shrimp toast, courtesy of our friends at Ba Sa on Bainbridge Island. Since opening last year, Ba Sa has drawn raves for its modern Vietnamese dishes, made of course with local ingredients. These shrimp toasts are a personal favorite of Chef Tai Nguyen, who co-owns the restaurant with his sister Trin. It's really easy to make at home. We chose shrimp because usually it's pretty easy to find it in your fridge, but you can use bacon, ham, anything, because what you'll be doing is pretty much mixing it all together, and then you're gonna be having that as a spread on top of your bread. I'm not freelancing on this one. I'm following the recipe as closely as I can. So, of course, I ran into a bit of an issue right at the start. Now, I ordered my groceries online. I was expecting peeled, deveined shrimp, ready to cook, ready to put in our food processor. That is not what we got. These shrimp have the shells on and the veins in, which means for the first time in my life, I'm about to devein some shrimp. Thank goodness for YouTube. After watching a quick tutorial made by someone who looked like she knew what she was doing, I successfully managed to clean my shrimp. Was my technique sound? No, but it got the job done. That was an adventure. But now we do have some nice looking and clean shrimp. And of course, we're gonna throw in a food processor now. To make the spread, combine shrimp, fish sauce, sugar, garlic, shallots, and black pepper. Then process until it's blended, but still has some texture. Making the toast is easy. Cut a bread of your choice into half-inch thick slices. Spread a thin coat of mayo on each slice, then top with the shrimp mixture. All right, we have got our finished toast here. Now we're gonna throw them in a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes until everything's nice and toasty and cooked through. While that's working, we're making an ultra popular Vietnamese dipping sauce. To start, combine fish sauce, sugar, salt, and lime juice in a bowl. Whisk everything until it dissolves. Then add minced garlic, Thai chilies, and a little bit of water. Give this a little taste. Maybe just a few more chilies because I like my spice, but that tastes really good. Eh, we're throwing them all in. Of course, if you're craving some real deal Vietnamese food, you can order takeout from Ba Sa Monday through Saturday over the phone or online. Or buy a gift card so you can enjoy a delicious meal on a future trip to Bainbridge Island. We've only been on the island for six months. Um, the fact that we have been so welcomed by the community, um, it's, it's a pleasure and a blessing in so many ways. The winds tell me they like to eat their shrimp toast as a lettuce wraps, which honestly sounds amazing. But me, I am going with the toasts solo, garnished with scallions, quickly cone feed on the stove, and our dipping sauce. Now here is my finished shrimp toast. And here's what the dish is supposed to look like. So, not quite the same. But as it turns out, the flavor of my toast is actually pretty on point. Oh, that's really great. That dipping sauce really amplifies the flavor. And that's where you get the citrus and the acid and the, the, the spice from the chilies and kind of that really lovely shrimp flavor and all those aromatics. That is really a nice bite. 